Heroes don't kill people. Well, I do. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and in this installment of Versus, we're pitting Black Adam against Superman. Not impressed. For this matchup, we're looking at everything from origins to deaths to see whether the ruler of Kondok or the last son of Krypton comes out on top. Which DC hero would you love to see Black Adam fight in a movie? Let us know in the comments below. Round 1 – Most Interesting Origins You must be the mighty Teth Adam. Welcome to our humble home. Although Black Adam has had multiple origin stories over the years, we're focusing on his New 52 beginning. This version of his story starts when he was known as Teth Adam and lived in a city named Kondok around 1600 BC. Unfortunately, he constantly watched his loved ones suffer at the hands of cruel people. After nearly dying to save his nephew, the duo ran into the wizard Shazam. This encounter ended with Teth Adam fully healed and given the power to help save his home. I had decided to pass on my powers to a worthy man. I picked Teth Adam, whose soul I thought was pure and true. Unsure if his nephew would agree with the brutal plans he had for wicked people, the man slayed his own nephew. This terrible crime and his other violent actions caused the newly superpowered man to be banished from Earth. Now known as Black Adam, he lay in wait for the time he could return to the world. After languishing in emptiness for 5,000 years, could it be? Long before Superman went by Clark Kent, he was just a baby named Kal-El who resided on the alien planet Krypton. You'll travel far, my little Kal-El. But we will never leave you, even in the face of our death. But just before his homeworld was destroyed, his parents put him in a specialized pod and sent him to Earth. Kal-El was soon found by the Kent family and renamed Clark. As he grew older and more powerful, he gained a desire to protect the innocent people of his adoptive planet. Easy, miss. I've got you. you you've got me? Who's got you? Superman's origin story is so well known that it's often imitated by other franchises or just straight up parodied in DC comics and films. Hold it right there! Yeah, shooting a baby into space. What kind of people are you? While we cannot even begin to count how many times we've seen his beginnings, we're sure that we'd never forget where he came from. If we were trying to determine whose origin story was more iconic, Superman would win in a landslide. But since we're going by the most interesting beginnings, Black Adam has the edge. His already layered and intriguing story just feels fresher because it's told a lot less frequently. I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god. Winner, Black Adam. Round 2 – Best Leader I sense the wizard's magic upon the winds. So the man who exiled me across the cosmos is near. Shortly after receiving his powers, Black Adam went to work eliminating any threats to Kondok. He picked up right where he left off when he arrived back on Earth in modern times. Black Adam easily overthrew the dictator of Kondok and started running the city himself. Additionally, he convinced a few metahumans like Atom Smasher to help achieve his goals for the city. As Kondok's ruler, Black Adam had no problems getting his hands dirty to maintain his tight grip over his homeland. You didn't come here to seek justice. You came to exact revenge. But it was also clear that he genuinely cared for the people he ruled over. Whether they feared or loved him, everyone who lived in Kondok was certain that Black Adam would do whatever it took to ensure the city would thrive. I am Teth Adam, the Thunder King, exiled from my home, and now return to rightfully reclaim my kingdom. Both heroes and citizens in the DC universe have gotten used to looking up to Superman. When Senator Carter first approached me, I was reluctant to get involved, but after meeting with him and his advisors, I became convinced that I could make a difference. The Big Blue Boy Scout's heroic actions have made him one of the most inspiring figures on his planet. When Superman wasn't pulling off tremendous feats solo, he was often seen co-leading teams like the Justice League. He used his position at the top to mentor up-and-coming heroes and keep the planet safe. Although Superman has a great reputation as a leader, he has made some pretty notable blunders over the years. Darkseid knew every part of our plan. Those things that attacked us were half parademon, half doomsday. 
There are some universes where Earth was pushed to the brink of destruction because of decisions he pushed for. Fortunately, Superman's allies are usually there to help bail him out when he makes big leadership mistakes. I know everyone's been through hell, but we can't quit. The Justice League doesn't quit. Neither Superman nor Black Adam are perfect leaders. However, the Big Blue Boy Scout deserves more credit for taking on the near-impossible task of trying to defend the planet. His ambitious actions have convinced billions of people that he is a strong and noble leader. And I solemnly swear to all of you that I will continue to uphold the ideals of truth and justice, not just for America, but for all the world. Winner, Superman. Round 3, Greatest Rival. I, I don't understand. What do you want from me? Your life. Hey, stay away from him. One of the biggest thorns in Black Adam's side is by far the young Billy Batson. The kid gained his abilities from the same wizard that gave the brutal DC character his powers in Kondok. Despite having vastly more experience in battle, Black Adam has been outwitted by Billy on several occasions. But the hero isn't always able to come out on top when the two face off, either. Why? A necessary strategy. Divide and conquer. This duo has been clashing in various stories since the 1940s. Since their powers are so similar, it's always thrilling to see what happens when they meet on the battlefield. Given that the two have such different ideologies and goals, it's unlikely that their rivalry will end anytime soon. I did not spend 5,000 years traveling across the infinite void of space to be thwarted by some man-child. For over eight decades and counting, Lex Luthor has been looking for a way to knock the Man of Steel out of the sky. Luthor, you think I'd be crazy enough to meet you without some kind of protection? This rich super genius often believes that Superman's mere existence threatens humanity. While Lex typically lacks the physical strength or powers to even annoy the Man of Steel, the villain has come up with plenty of ways to keep up with the Kryptonian. You come to this planet. Declare yourself the savior of mankind. Well, I think it's time you died for your sins. At one point, the antagonist even became president of the United States and used his power to mess with Superman. The Big Blue Boy Scout typically finds a way to punch a hole through Lex's schemes in whatever live-action adventure, TV show, or movie they fight in. But Superman also knows that he should never underestimate his intelligent rival. And I am the president! Consider yourself... Impeached. While we'll never get tired of seeing Black Adam trade blows with Billy, the Lex and Superman rivalry is just more iconic. Watching a mortal man continually mess with a hero with godlike powers is a fun and fascinating dynamic that we'll never get tired of. You were great in your day, Superman. But it just stands to reason. When it came time to cash in your chips, this old, diseased maniac would be your banker. Winner, Superman. Round 4, Coolest Resurrection At the end of a tense battle with Shazam, Black Adam is tricked into his human form. This act causes millennia of aging to catch up with him and reduced him to dust. Shazam! Although Black Adam seemed like he was gone for good, he received help from an unexpected source. This loose cannon needs to be locked down before innocent people start getting hurt. He's been asleep for 5,000 years. A group of citizens in Kondok had heard tales of how he once fought to keep them safe. So, a handful of residents risked their lives to bring him back from the dead with a magical scroll. Just before a group of soldiers eliminates the last person standing, the word Shazam revives Black Adam. He quickly uses his newfound life to take out a dictator and reclaim his throne as the ruler of Kondok. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. The relentless monster Doomsday was ultimately formidable enough to send Superman into an early grave. It's been six months since Doomsday and the world is still shaken by the death of Kal-El of Krypton. As the world mourned the Kryptonians' loss, new heroes stepped forward to fill in for the Big Blue Boy Scout. But they were never able to prevent a world-spanning crisis from threatening the Earth. 
in their darkest hour, it was revealed that Superman wasn't quite dead. It's really you, isn't it? How? Honestly, I don't know. The robots keep calling it a revitalization cycle. He had actually been secretly recovering thanks to a little Kryptonian technology. Shortly after waking up, Superman donned a sleek black suit that allowed him to absorb solar energy a little faster. He instantly raced into battle to show Earth that one of its greatest heroes was still around. Is it over? Yes. There's still one more thing I need to do. It was fun seeing Superman fly back into stories after taking a well-deserved nap. But, but there's something gripping about watching Black Adam return at the absolute last second. Additionally, the shot of him on the throne just a few pages after he came to life is just ridiculously cool. So I'm out to Winner, Black Adam. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Round 5. Who would win in a fight? The wizard betrayed me when he learned I could not be controlled. I will destroy him for his treachery! <laughs> Thanks to a number of magical gifts, Black Adam has an impressive power set. He can fly, easily overpower most metahumans, summon lightning, and so much more. Black Adam is also able to fight for hours on end and has the intelligence to constantly craft new strategies. Since all these abilities are only available when he says Shazam, he'd be in big trouble if he took on his mortal form. What have you done to him? Simply used your own mystic lightning to restore Adam to his mortal form. His enemies have been able to make him say the word, or even remove his ability to speak, period. However, if Black Adam is fully powered up, an enemy would have to be prepared to go all out to stop him. It is incredibly unlikely that this determined DC character would ever surrender. Now. I kneel before no one. Superman is notorious for having two major vulnerabilities. Over the years, he's had trouble overcoming magical attacks and enemies. Indeed, you are my physical match. But I sense one critical difference, a vulnerability to magic. Superman's kryptonite weakness means that anyone who gets their hands on that glowing green rock could be a big problem. I told you, it's kryptonite, Superman little souvenir from the old hometown. I've spared no expense to make you feel right at home. Despite having a couple of huge weak spots, the Man of Steel has been able to overcome these issues in battle. This is mainly due to his incredibly large range of abilities that even we have trouble keeping track of. How did you stop the flood? Cold breath. Another power you don't have. He's also extremely clever and adept at improvising to get out of sticky situations. Even if you go into a battle with an idea of how to take Superman down, there's no guarantee your plan will work. A battle between Black Adam and Superman would be incredibly close. But while the ruler of Kondok certainly has a magical advantage, the Blue Boy Scout tends to come out on top of their matchups. Superman's ridiculous and seemingly unlimited amounts of power have traditionally been enough to compensate for his few weaknesses when they face off. If these two clashed, we'd bet on Clark. Winner, Superman. With a score of 3 to 2, the Man of Steel narrowly flies right past the ruler of Kondok to claim the victory. Will a Superman do then? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.